Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, Bruno Large has just done his pre Leicester press conference. I've, I've watched it all. I'm gonna make. I've made some notes. Um, I also did a, a Leicester versus Wolves preview yesterday. I'll put the the link on that in the description below and on the end screen. But it's been interesting because, uh, as I say, Bruno's done his first press conference, and I've made some notes here and I'm going to go through them with you. The first um, question was pretty much about how is he feeling about his first game uh, representing Wolves in the Premier League. Um, he said it feels good, he's proud but his ambition is about making sure we do a good performance tomorrow against a very good Leicester team. He was asked about Raul is he fit? He said he's had a good six weeks with Raul. He's had a lot of progression from 30 minutes through and he is fully fit and can play a full 90 minutes if needed. He was also asked about the signings, that he said he wants three or four players. And it was a bit of a theme that he said through this is trust the chairman. He said, um, trust what they've done over the last four years. Um, Obviously, he wants to get the injured players back. They've got a, the core group at the moment. The injury players coming back will make a difference. But he said he had uh, conversations with uh, all the departments in regards to uh, recruitment, especially Jeff, the chairman. Uh, and the fans need to trust that they will do what needs to be done. They know what they need. And they're obviously working on it. What he's looking for is a competitive squad. We talked about... Uh, there's questions about Catroni, Rafamir and uh, players like that that uh, obviously are looking out. I mean, I mentioned today that Rafamir, that Wolves rejected a bid from Atletico Madrid for Rafamir as having to report for training for Wolves. But he talked about Catroni. He basically said Catroni was not happy. He didn't want to be here, even though the fans had got a song for him and he doesn't want... Uh, unhappy players around the place. He wants players that are happy to be part of the team, happy to be part of the project and believe in the process. Um, it talked about Adama and was asked how important he was. He said Adama is very important but then so are all the other players in the squad. It's about the team. It's not just about Raul or Cody or Adama or Trinko. It's about the whole team. Uh, the fans came up. Um, he really excited about having fans in the stadium he said it's not the same without the fans one of the reasons as well apparently that he had such a long period out he wanted that move to the Premier League but also he wanted to be involved with uh, with the fans he enjoyed having the fans at Benfica and the Premier League and the Wolves fans he knows are passionate and will make a, dif a difference expectation came up asked about how he felt about the Wolves fans expectation and he said you know he he basically said he is an emotional person and he wants the emotion of the fans um asked about the pressure that's on him he said well from the fans he said he puts more pressure on himself and he thrives on the track pressure and that helps drive him on but he's as I say he said he's an emotional person so that's going to be interesting to see how that works obviously we saw a bit of emotion from Nuno at times uh, you know how he talked he was always very composed and we saw him running on the pitch and stuff like that but generally with the press he's been very reserved uh, Bruno seems to be very much more in engaged in having the press and talking to the press a bit more so than Nuno did keep them at arm's length at uh, time and again it came up uh, in the expectation another line again he repeated trust in the chairman um, in terms of um, quest a question was asked about is entertainment for Wolves uh, that are we going to go and see a much more entertaining team he didn't like to again uh, dish uh, Nuno he said the first three years were obviously good it was very difficult last year and he talked about building on uh, the strength that Wolves had under Nuno and taking the next step he's had a few times um, and in terms of the way he wants us to play he basically said take a look at the second half against Celta Vigo that's what they're aiming for that's the Wolves that they want to see obviously we didn't score but we did everything but but he needs time with the squad with the players uh, to obviously to adapt to what he wants and how they're going to gradually get better and better. And but what he's looking for is that high press, pressing as a team from all areas of the pitch, 
and making sure that they make the right decisions on the right time and they also talked about the team uh, and the squad again as I said he's looking for two strong players in every position so that looking at obviously increasing the size of the squad and then also obviously utilizing the under 23s but he wants basically two strong players in every position and that's going to be the aim um, but yeah he was very engaging very happy to answer the questions Obviously, I'm sure, like all of us, we're looking forward uh, to the Premier League starting and seeing how Wolves do. It's a tough opening opening uh, for sure against Leicester. And obviously, we've got Tottenham and United following that. But uh, I will be there at the match covering it. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell notifications because when it pops up, you'll get notified straight away. And if you enjoy this sort of content... Please, please, please smash a like and feel free to share the video and leave your comments below. And check out my Leicester versus Wolves full match preview again in the description below or on the end screen of this video. So there you are. Bruno's first press conference has happened and uh, the Premier League season starts 3 o'clock at the King Bower Stadium against Leicester City this Saturday. I'm Dazzling Dave, always wolves.